tools. Uh, first thing we'll do is clear all this junk off of here. So we'll go up to Object and say Select All. And you can see it puts the square black the black squares around each one of our objects to tell tell us that it's selected. So we'll hit the delete button and they're all gone. The selection tool is one of the most important tools on here. It's a way for you to get out of the object mode that you're in or else you would end up making more objects that you didn't want to. I'll show you why. On this draw rectangle, if we draw a rectangle, and uh, then we clicked anywhere else on the screen, say we were getting ready to do something else, or we accidentally just clicked, it creates another one. And it's, every time you click, it's going to make something. So that's why it's important to remember to, as after immediately drawing your object, immediately go up here to selection. Then you can choose which one of these you want to work with. We'll go up here and select all these and hit the delete button. So rectangle. Rectangle is always going to remember what color you last used in it as far as fill color. And that is right here is the fill color. It brings up the color picker. If we don't want any fill color at all, then we just say transparent. And you can see now it's just a square and that's it, a border square. So that's a rectangle. We got an eclipse. If we draw that, we have an eclipse. We can draw a line. Here we draw an arrow. As you can see, as you hold your mouse over each icon, it will pop out a call out, which tells you what it does. That works for all of the icons on here. That's a standard in most Windows programs. A text box, if you click that, you can draw a box. And every time I'm drawing these things, if you hold down your left mouse button, when you click and then drag and then let up on your mouse, it will, uh, that's how you create something. The uh, highlight tool allows you to grab something and highlight it. You can see it changes to a different color and makes it stand out from the rest of the picture. The obf obfuscate tool allows you to pixelate out anything that you don't want to be shown, whether it be a face, a text, anything. So if we click this and we don't want diamond to show up, as something readable we just draw that around and you can see it pixelated out to where we can't even read it and the crop tool last is where you can crop a piece of the picture out and it will create a new image so be very careful with this because if you've done a lot of work on here and then you hit the crop button and and you you know draw a square around something you can Oh, I didn't hit the crop button here. That was the obfuscate button. If you grab something here, you can see how it's uh, darkened here and the rest is lightened. That means this is the part you're going to crop out. Well, if you hit the OK, the Confirm button, you're going to lose everything else in your picture. You're only going to have this. So just remember, before you click on that and say OK, ask yourself, is this all I want? because I will lose the rest. So we're going to hit cancel here and we're going to select all these objects and we're going to delete them and uh, we're going to show you if I draw a rectangle hold down my left mouse button, drag, let go, there's my rectangle. Immediately remember go over here to the selection tool and click it. That makes sure that you're not going to accidentally start creating more objects. So we're just going to click anywhere on this box. And now this box has been uh, highlighted to where we can work with it. As you can see that most of these come up with a secondary menu right here. This allows you to change different things about the box. A, you can fill color. If you choose that, your color picker will come up. 
and you can choose a color to fill the box with or you can choose the line color which once again uh, brings up your color picker and you can choose a color here or any of these colors and hit apply you can see it now it changed the border of the line around our box the next thing being is the thickness of this box of the border of it if we start clicking the up here you can see that it puts a thicker border around it and we'll just go back down a bit and lastly you can put a shadow on it if you want it's not very uh, apparent but you can do that so that's a rectangle so if we click on, we're still clicked on this. So this is, you can move this now with the selection tool. You can highlight it, you can move it. You can resize it by grabbing the arrows. Holding your mouse over those black spots will, will allow you to resize it. Now the important thing on resizing is when you, when you want to resize something and keep it the same uh, the same scale so it doesn't look all weirded out uh, if you took an image of something and you just went like this and dragged it down you might take a, someone's face and make it long like that and it's not going to look right what you need to remember is and this works in all Windows programs is whenever you want to grab something and keep it to scale then you always want to grab the ends right here on the diagonal part whether it be this one, any one of these four corners. When it changes to that, draw outwards. Not in, but just draw directly out. That will make the proportion look right. So that's how you mess around with a box. Okay, the next thing will be a eclipse. Let's get rid of our box here. So we do that just by clicking the selection tool, clicking the box, and saying delete. And we'll click the Eclipse tool. And once again, you can see it brought up our menu, our secondary menu. And we go here and we drag, and uh, we've created a circle. You can see that it remembered the last color, the fill color I had, and it remembered the last line thickness I had. That's handy because if you want to draw a bunch of arrows or something, it will always be the same color and the same thickness. But you can now go in and change all that just by clicking the fill color and maybe making it transparent. You know, the line thickness, you can change that. That's how you make a circle. And as I say, as soon as you make the circle, immediately click the selection tool so you're not going to make more circles and then you can just highlight your circle and then adjust it appropriately and I'm just holding down my left mouse button as I drag this so you can put it where you want it if you get it right there and then you need to make it a little longer or a little wider that's how you create a circle we will uh, get rid of the circle by hitting the delete button Next thing is a line. You can draw a line. And all that's all it is is a simple line. And you can go up here and change the color of the line or the line thickness. And you can see zero actually makes the line not even look like it's there, but you don't you want to actually remove it if you don't want it. So you can see my I have crosshairs here. That means that I'm still in line drawing mode. So if I click anywhere, you can see it's going to make another line. That's why it's always important to hit that selection tool as soon as you draw your line so you don't start making more, more of them accidentally. Now it's handy if you want to create lines and continue to create them. It will, but just be careful. Uh, so we're going to get rid of these lines here. We can just uh, select them with the delete button. Next thing is some arrows. You can just draw an arrow. If you don't like that color, you can change the color. And uh, 
the only extra thing here is the arrow heads which if you click the uh, area right here it tells you do you want a start point arrowhead which is on only one part the end point which is the other part the other side or do you want them both and now you can see there's arrows on each side so just choose whichever way you want the arrow to point by doing that so we'll go over here to the selection tool highlight our line we just drawn and like I say always look for those little black boxes around them that tells you that that's selected that's what's going to be changed if you change any of these and that's going to be what you delete if you have to delete one. The next thing is is the text box. You can see that before we even start drawing the box, you can see that we have a fill color in there. And uh, let's get rid of that. 